break. More importantly than that, a huge chance for the match. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And Djokovic yeah. wins through. He says so to the six, final. Four, six, six, four, four, six, 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 And in an extraordinary match, we had to have an extraordinary fifth set. Six games to love. That was a hard-fought victory for Novak Djokovic. A real struggle. Listen to the for Babrinka. Last year's winner, destined now not to defend the title, bested in five sets by the world number one, Novak Djokovic, in a game in past that you have to say was scrappy, but you can only play what served up to you from the other end of the court. And you can only put the score on the board. And Djokovic, in the final analysis, has done that after looking likely at some points and unlikely at others as Top the fortunes fluctuated. Topsy turvy, definitely. But a, a big round of applause for Stan Vavrinka, defending champion. I thought he was a commendable effort all tournament long. And to have pushed the number one seed, who up until this match certainly has been in superb form. Well, he pushed him all the way, but he just he fell flat. I, I think there might have been uh, just a, a slight pull in the uh, groin or a ductor for Vavrinka because he was certainly flat as he walks back to the locker room. Well, I don't think Djokovic was electrifying. Now, whether that was in his mindset or whether it was something that was imposed on him to a degree by Vavrinka, it's very hard to know, but he'll need to be at the top of his game and substantially more on his game when he comes up against Andy Murray in the final here on Sunday night. He sure will. You know that Andy Murray is probably not watching this. He's tucked away in bed, but his team would have been watching and learning. Here's Novak. Well, Novak, this was a match that featured a lot of twists and turns. What turned it for you in the end? Um, well, I expected a longer question from you, first one. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, as, as it was the case in the last two years, we played five sets, and, uh, you know, I was ready for the battle. Obviously, there was a, it was a great battle, three and a half hours, and uh, we pushed each other to the limit. Uh, credit to, to Stan for playing well, and uh, I congratulate him on a great tournament. He's a, he's a great competitor out there. I wish him all the best. I think uh, I think I think I played well, um, two sets to one and, and a breakup, and then I just played a couple of loose games, uh, two all, love 40, and another couple of unforced errors. So you know I allowed him to come back to the match, and uh, Stan is a quality player, and he knows how to how to get into the court, to use his opportunities, and uh, you know I made my life. Uh, very complicated on the court. Obviously, the opening game of the fifth set was very close, and uh, making the break on two love and then three love that was that was a crucial turning point. In the uh, in the third set, you won the set, but it appeared that you weren't aware that the set was over. Has that ever happened to you in a match before? In the junior days, yes, probably. Um, well, sometimes these things happen. Obviously, you get carried away by. Uh, by a moment, by circumstances, obviously playing semi-finals against defending champion, against a top player in front of a full stadium is a, is a lot of tension. There is a lot of emotions going around, and we're both trying to perform our best, and uh, sometimes you can't keep the, uh, the track of the score. <laughs> well, we've seen a lot of you on this court. We keep track of you very closely, and it, and it appeared to us that your energy levels dipped in the third set and they never really recovered. Were, were you having any physical difficulties in this match? Yes, I had. Um, 
as I said, my game uh, depended on uh, how, how well I moved. I think uh, I was too defensive, especially in the second set, in the fourth set as well. And uh, Stan stepped it up, and credit to him for, for taking the match to the fifth. After that, you know, in the fifth set, I managed to, to, uh, to stay consistent and tough in the, in the right moments, uh, serve well when I needed to, and uh, just, just so glad to, to go through. Well, we look forward to seeing another final, the third time you and Andy Murray will step onto this court on Sunday to, to fight for the trophy. What's the key for you in success? You've won the last two matchups in the finals against him here. Andy, Andy and I go back to uh, when we were 12 years old. That's the first time when we played against each other. So uh, there's only a week difference in age. And we know each other for a long time. We have a very friendly relationship, both the court. And uh, it's nice to see that uh, we're playing another Grand Slam final against each other. Uh, we played many, and uh, hopefully we can come up with a good match for, for all of you guys. We'll look forward to it. Your son, Stefan, sends you energy tonight. It appeared you got it. You're into the final. Once again, Novak. Djokovic.